In the opening scene of the film, General Qadir of the Pakistani army hears on the news that Kashmir's special status under Article 370 has been revoked by the Indian government. He decides to exact revenge on India so he enters into contract with Jim, a member of a terrorist group called Outfit X. Three years later, Jim assigned one of his staff named Rafai to gather weapons for their mission. Suddenly someone informs Rafai that a man is waiting for him in the dungeons. Jim's men imprisoned him there and subjected him to torture. Rafai recognized the man and yelled Patan in shock at seeing him still alive. Then Patan asked about a woman by the name of Rubina, and instead of responding, he was about to shoot him. Patan turned the table around and begun attacking them instead. He managed to defeat them before he took a helicopter and flew away with Rafai whom he kidnapped. Meanwhile, in New Delhi, a senior officer named Nandini saw Rubina, the woman Patan is looking for through a tracking camera in France. She requested for a flight ticket along with her assistant. While in the plane she narrates the story of Patan to her assistant. Despite telling him that Patan was her most reliable agent, she had not heard from him for the previous two years. Then, as Nandini is explaining to her assistant, the movie switches to a series of flashback scenes. We see her visit Patan, a former RAW agent, who was exercising despite receiving treatment in the hospital because of the injuries he sustained during a mission in Myanmar. He convinces her to create joint operation and covert research, a new unit that will include all RAW agents who have retired due to injuries. Patan gathered all the members and Nandini requested Cornell Luther to work with the group. After that, they discussed about Outfit X's plans of attacking the President of India at a scientific conference in Dubai. They leave for Dubai to stop Outfit X, later they find out that the information they were given about the attack on the President was intended to mislead them. Their true goal was to kidnap two scientists Dr. Faruqui and Dr. Sahani. Patan was not able to save one of the scientists Dr. Sahani, because Jim had already kidnapped him and put him in a helicopter. After Patan returned to India Cornell Luther reveals that Jim was a former RAW agent, whose wife and unborn child were killed by terrorists after the Indian government refused to pay the money demanded by the terrorists. He may have pretended to be dead in order to get revenge on the country. Patan discovered that the money from accounts of the deceased in Dubai was moved to Rubinas, a Pakistani doctor living in Spain. He went to Spain to spy on her and he was shocked to see that she was working for Jim. Patan was captured, later, Jim offered him to work for Outfit X but he refused, because of this, he ordered his men to kill him. When Jim left, Rubina suddenly started rescuing Patan. She kills a number of them before they hide. When Patan noticed blood oozing from Rubina's belly, he begins shooting the remaining men as they are escaping. Rubina eventually woke up after been unconscious for 18 hours. She explained to Patan why she had saved him. She also told him about the mutant smallpox virus known as Rackbeach, which had to be eradicated in order to rescue humanity. She said the virus is in Russia and requested for his help in retrieving it. Later, Patan informed Nandini about the Rackbeach and requested her consent to travel to Russia. Nandini agreed because she didn't want Jim to get his hands on the virus. Rubina and Patan booked a hotel in Russia that was opposite the building where the Rackbeach was held. They also came up with a plan to steal the virus from the world's most strongest vault. On the day of executing their plan, they entered the room housing the virus without difficulties. Patan then entered the code, when he finally retrieved the virus, she threw a rope for Patan to climb. After the rackbeach landed in her hands, she burned the rope and ran away. It is revealed that Jim tricked Patan into stealing the rackbeach for himself by using Rubina. After that we see him being tortured mercilessly by the Russian army. Nandini visited him in the prison, she was disappointed at him and pretended not to care about him after which she left. Patan was to be transferred to a larger prison and was put in a train carrying violent prisoners so that they could finish him off. He fought bravely but the prisoners continued to attack thus weakening him. When they surrounded him, one of his old friends Tiger, came to his rescue. Tiger and Patan were successful in defeating the prisoners. 
they also jumped out of the train in time before it fell into the river due to the railway track that was ruined by a helicopter that tried to attack them earlier. Back in the present, Nandini ended the story about Patan to her assistant. She knew that he was still alive and just when she arrived at a house, she was welcomed by a gun pointed at her head by Patan. Then Nandini revealed that she had left Patan in Russia to let him know that Tiger was on the way to save him. After that, she gave him a picture of Rubina that showed she was in Paris. Afterwards, we see Patan following her and points a gun at her. He demanded an explanation from her as to why she betrayed him. Rubina explained that she committed the crime because of the Rakbij. But later learned that Jim had also betrayed her and was planning to use the virus with the Pakistani army general Qadir to exact revenge on India. The following day, Jim took Rubina to the lab where they were studying the virus. They had managed to mutate the virus and stored it in a round container. Soon Patan and his men attacked the lab, at the same time Rubina wanted to steal the virus. Unfortunately, Jim arrived just as she was about to leave and attacked her. He then killed Dr. Sahani with a gun before fleeing with the virus. When Patan saw him escaping he made an effort to catch him. Jim had accidentally dropped the virus, immediately Rubina came to pick and ran away with it. Jim refused to let her take it, so, he threw his grenade, blowing up the ice beneath her. She sunk into the cold water but Patan immediately came to rescue her and brought her to his workplace while handing the virus to Cornell Luthra. Luthra arrested Rubina for betraying them earlier. The virus is sent to the Indian Institute of Contagious Diseases in India to ensure that a vaccine is prepared. At the IICD in India, Dr. Farukwi demonstrates the circular container to Nandini. Unfortunately Jim video called to tell them that the container has already spread the virus across the lab. Immediately, Nandini requested that the lab's main doors be shut. Cornell Luthra arrived shortly with Patan, Nandini then explained what had happened. To stop the virus from spreading, Nandini and the other affected scientists shot themselves in the lab. Following that, the building is demolished by a carefully planned explosion. Later Jim gave them a 24-hour deadline to remove all Indian troops from Kashmir and hand over power to Pakistan. If they don't, he'll use his missile to launch the virus at an Indian city. Afterwards, Patan questions Rafay about the missile's location and discovers that it is in Afghanistan. When General Qadir saw a video of smallpox victims in an Afghan town, he blamed Jim of causing it. Jim was annoyed and strangled Qadir, forcing him to plead for mercy. Jim sent out his men to track down the virus's origin. Later, Jim's soldiers show up at the town, but it turns out that Patan had planned everything and that the locals were just acting. After grabbing some of the suits from Jim's men, Patan together with his teammates broke into the exact location where Jim and Kadir were. Jim was very surprised at the arrival of Patan. Jim, who had several plans simply smiled and signaled his men to launch a missile. A fight broke out and one of Patan's men died, this gave Jim a chance to escape. Rubina was trying to deactivate the missile, General Kadir attacked her but she managed to get rid of him. She finally deactivated the missile but finds out that the Rakbij is not in the missile. Rubina interrogated Jim's men that were still alive and found out that the virus is in a plane with the flight number LT-72 and it would be spread via that flight to New Delhi. Somewhere else, Jim and Patan are fighting each other. Jim showed to Patan the tool he uses for controlling the Rakbij. Upon seeing this, Patan attacked him in an effort to seize the gadget but unfortunately Jim stabs him. It turned out that Patan came up with this plan to steal the gadget. When Jim realized the gadget had been taken from him, he attempted to kill Patan, but was instead thrown. Finally Patan stamps on the piece of wood Jim was holding onto, resulting into him falling from a cliff. 